you should be asking what's the use of elementary matrices. For example, suppose you have this matrix, matrix A. We want to find a sequence of elementary matrices that can be used to write matrix A in row echelon 4. Let us begin. So take a look. The pivot is 0. It must be 1. So the best way is to interchange the very first and second row. By doing that, you create a matrix that has 1, negative 3, 0, 2. On the first row, 0, 1, 3, 5. On the second row, 2, negative 6, 2, and 0 on the third row. So basically, as you can see, the pivot now is 1. Everything else down here must be equal to 0. But before doing that, we're going to write the identity matrix and apply elementary row operation, which is exactly the same as what we did here for the identity matrix. We're going to just interchange the first two rows. We get the very first elementary matrix represented by E sub 1. Now we are going back to our original matrix. We're going to multiply the first row by negative 2 and add it to the third row because we want to make 2 to be 0. So let's see. We end up with 1, and everything down here is 0. We're going to do the same thing for identity matrix. Again, rewrite your identity matrix and apply the same elementary row operation. It means that multiply the first row by negative 2 and add it to the third row. That's how you end up with negative 2 down here. But this is another elementary matrix represented by E sub 2. Let us go back to our matrix here. Now here you have a 1. Down here you have a 0. Now you need to make this 2 equal to 1. You can multiply the third row by a half or divide everything by 2. This results in a new matrix. You have 1, 0, 0, negative 3, 1, and 0, 0, 3, 1. And here you have a constant column 2, 5, negative 2. We're going to do the exact same thing for identity matrix as well. So write the identity matrix, divide the third row by 2. You get 0, 0, a half. So basically, you have three elementary matrices. Now take a look. If I multiply the third, the second, and the first elementary matrix by A, it gives me a new matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, negative 3, 1, 0, 0, 3, 1, 2, 5, negative 2, which is basically the matrix A in row echelon 4.